I ate it all. Cause I'm pissed. Welcome back to Cheap Lazy Vegan and another mukbang video. As you can see, we are doing another cookbang or cook with me video as well as an eating show. So I'm super excited and we are going to be making some hot pot. Now, this is going to be just like a makeshift hot pot with whatever ingredients I already had in my kitchen. I just kind of like really wanted hot pot, but I didn't want to go grocery shopping. So I'm just kind of like putting things together uh, with whatever I have. So yeah, here we go. All right. So I've got my handy dandy little um, cooker thing. I'm just gonna turn this on and let's just go with it okay this is just a random video and um, I'm not gonna follow any rules or anything we're kind of making like a Korean style hot pot it's gonna be similar to like pudetjige which is Korean army based stew where you just kind of like add in a bunch of ingredients and just go from there first thing we're actually gonna like saute some stuff first to you know help flavor the broth so here we go we have some um, a little bit of oil not too, too much. I don't need a lot. Or maybe a little bit more, a little bit more. And then we're gonna add some, mm, let's add some mushroom and some onions. So I chopped up some mushrooms and some onions. We're just gonna add that. I probably should have let the oil heat up first, but whatever, doesn't matter. So today I also wanted to um, react to this video that I saw, tell you my opinions on this video I saw, which I'll get to in a little bit. So we've got mushroom, we've got, is this working? No, it's not working. It's not plugged in, that's why. <laughs> Might want to plug it in. There we go. So I saw this video on a channel called Asian Boss, which I am subscribed to and I follow. And I really like that channel because it just kind of like, it's like a news channel kind of. <laughs> uh, but they like delve into like specific topics that have to do with, you know, Asia. I find it really, really interesting because they do like street interviews and stuff. And I saw this one about Korean beauty standards. I don't know why this was in my recommended. It's probably because like I do watch that channel and I'm Korean and I probably watch like Korean stuff. It's quite an old video. I think it was like a couple years old, but I don't think much has changed in terms of like beauty standards in Korea. So I thought I would talk about that since, you know, recently I've been talking about like, I don't know, weight and being overweight and underweight. And I don't know, I find this topic interesting and I think it's important to talk about. So that's what we're going to be discussing today after I cook. So we have here some mushrooms and some onions that I chopped up. Mm, yummy! Ooh, I think an onion fell. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm impatient. I'm just gonna add some minced garlic. I have a little hack for minced garlic. I just basically like make a bunch in advance, so I have some in the fridge all the time. So I'll link that video down below if you guys are interested in the minced garlic hack. I'm just adding some garlic here. Maybe a little bit more garlic. Why not? Mmm. I'm excited. So, what's next? Okay, let's add in my vegan hot dog. So I have this like random vegan hot dog from Eve, and um, I just sliced it up. I'm just gonna add that in here. I usually keep my like vegan fake meats and stuff in my freezer because I don't eat them very often, but once in a while I do want them for something like this. So I just keep it in the freezer. Let me add a little, a lowered. Tiny bit of water. Ooh, look at that steam. Yum. Next. Okay, so I think now I can add, actually, what am I doing? Okay, let me let me just, let me turn this off for a second. <laughs> now we're gonna make the sauce. I realized that I need to make the sauce. So I have here in a little bowl, a little bit of brown sugar, or I think this is like golden sugar. I don't know, guys. It's, it's probably the same thing as brown sugar. We have a little bit of that. And we're gonna add in, like I said, it's gonna be like a Korean style. So let's add in some, how am I gonna do this? I did not think this through, guys. Let's add in some um, soy sauce. I'm just gonna, you know, eyeball it, as I usually do for these videos. So a little bit of soy sauce. I can always add more later, so keep that in mind. So I just start out with a little bit and then go from there. We also have some gochujang, yay! This is Korean red pepper paste. You can find this in any Korean supermarket, usually any Asian supermarket you should be able to find. And um, it's like a must have for Korean cooking. It is a bit spicy, but it's so great. So I'm just gonna add like nothing too crazy. Just a little amount. Oh, this stuff is so good. Mm. The paste is quite thick. I'm gonna add a tiny bit of water to help 
mix. So I'm also gonna add, because I don't have a broth ready, I'm just gonna use kelp powder. So kelp powder is basically the powder form of kelp. Yes, go figure. Kelp is used very frequently in Asian cuisine to help flavor the broths, okay? So instead of using fish, kelp can be used, okay? I'm gonna use a little bit of kelp powder in here. So you can just use like dried kelp and like cook the broth in the kelp, but this is just a little hack, just a quicker, quicker way of making the sauce here, of flavoring the broth, okay? So we got gochujang, we got sugar, we got kelp powder, uh, we got soy sauce, and um, oh, last but not least, sesame oil. So this is toasted sesame oil. Um, I think it's toasted. Yeah, I think, I don't know. Someone asked me that before, but I'm pretty sure these are toasted. Anyway, doesn't really matter. Korean sesame oil. We're gonna add a little bit of that in here. So this is gonna give it that really nice, savory, delicious Asian flavor, okay? This is a must. The ingredients I just used here, all musts for cooking, Asian cooking. So now we got a nice little paste that we can add into our um, broth. Okay, now, yay! Okay, I'm gonna turn this back on. And let's add in the other things before we add in the water and the stuff. So we got some like nice, what is this called? Like deep fried tofu, I believe that's what it is. Like tofu puffs. These are great in like a hot pot uh, because they soak up a lot of the flavor. We also have regular uh, medium from tofu. And I also have some green onion. And of course guys, we gotta have some bok choy. Some, I got some baby, I think this is baby bok choy, but it could just be, I don't know, whatever. So we're gonna add, ooh, looks like I have a lot. We're gonna add that, and then let's add in some water. This is just water. Okay, I'm not gonna add too, too much yet because I don't want it to be like too watery. <laughs> I want the flavors to really infuse. Another thing I'm gonna add, udon noodles. This is definitely like an everything sort of hot pot, just adding everything into a big pot, okay? This is how I like to cook. How do I open this? Come on, come on. Where's the opening? Come on, opening. Where's the opening? Ugh. Okay. Ugh. Udon noodles, these are pretty much pre-cooked, so they just have to like heat up. So I'm just gonna throw that in here. And then, oh my God, this is gonna be so good. I'm so excited. And then we've got that sauce. So we're just gonna pour that in. Come on, soak up the sauce. I don't wanna waste the sauce. Whew. All right, so what I'm gonna do is close the lid and let this kind of cook so the flavors can kind of like, you know, make love. Just add a little bit more water. Oh, and you know what I'm missing? Uh, one last little thing. I mean, obviously if you have this, great. So I have this really old vegan kimchi juice. Okay, so when I have kimchi in my fridge and it's like gone really, really sour or fermented, I don't throw it away, I keep it. I even keep the juices. Why? Because of situations like this. Whew, it's gonna be strong. I'm just gonna pour some of that kimchi juice and that's gonna add a really nice flavor. And kimchi, I believe it does not go bad. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't believe it goes bad because it's like a fermented food. So it pretty much lasts forever. It just gets more and more sour as the time goes, okay? If you guys want a kimchi recipe, I do have one on my channel. It's my mom's vegan kimchi recipe. It's the same one that I always eat, and it's absolutely just so good. And even if you're not vegan, I would suggest trying out a vegan kimchi recipe because it's so good. Like, it's really, really refreshing, and um, it's much more like fresh tasting than um, regular kimchi. I mean, even though I haven't had regular kimchi for a long time, but I do remember, and that's what my parents say too, so. Okay, so I'm just gonna close this for a second to allow it to boil. Ooh, let's close this and allow it to boil. Now, hey guys, how are you? Oh, <laughs> uh, that was really easy. I just had to like chop up some things and mix in the sauce and here we go. Oh, you know what I was gonna do? So today I wanted to like react to a, vid a video. Again, the channel is called Asian Boss. It's kind of like a journalistic channel where they kind of, you know, delve into different issues, like societal issues and, you know, things happening in Asia. And I find that interesting because, you know, I'm Asian and, you know, I'm Asian, so. I'm into this kind of thing, okay? This video popped up on my recommended feed, okay? And it was called, what's the ideal weight for Korean girls? Now I've seen videos like this before and I've always wanted to talk about this topic, but I thought it was just not really relevant for my channel. But you know, in a mukbang video, 
I talk about whatever. So I feel like, you know, it could be something that is worth discussing, dis discussing if I can talk. So yeah, this video was posted, um, I guess two years ago and it's called what's the ideal weight for Korean girls. It has about 2 million views. I'll react to it as I'm eating later, but basically like to give you guys a little bit of context. So Korean, uh, South Korean, I should be specific. South Korean culture is very, 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 if you guys didn't know, uh, visual. <laughs> That's a nice way of putting shallow. It's a very shallow, no, I don't want to say the culture is shallow. People put a very heavy emphasis on your looks. So your looks are very, very important. And I know a lot of you guys are like, well, looks are important everywhere, but Korea is on a whole new level, guys. It's, it's not just, um, yeah. It's on a whole new level. I don't think that Western people realize how heavily Korean people emphasize looks. It is a big issue and it is something that I think needs to change because, you know, it's a big problem. And uh, that's why Korean plastic surgery is very, very popular. And um, there's like plastic surgeons all over Korea. Let me just try this broth and see if I need any additional flavoring. Ooh, it's quite nice. I don't know if I need any more flavoring. I also have extra kimchi here. This is more fresh kimchi. This is like, you know, it's good to eat like this. <laughs> Ooh, look at that, guys. I'm so excited. Ooh, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna get a little bit of rice. Cause yes, I know, udon noodles, apparently not enough. I need some rice. And I'm gonna get a drink and then start eating. All right. Woo! yes. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I'm sorry, but like, hello, hi. <laughs> Doesn't that look amazing? Oh. All right, oh, I love that sound, that like boiling sound. It's so satisfying, Ooh. Ooh. All right, so I got a little bit of rice here. This is brown rice mixed with wild rice. I didn't get too much because there's udon noodles in here. And I also have my drink, my bubbly. Once again, still not sponsored, guys. <laughs> this is grapefruit bubbly. This is my favorite kind of bubbly. It's so tasty, so refreshing. Yum, cheers. All right, I don't even know like where to start with this. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh my gosh. Okay, this soup though. It's like, it's not too salty which is what I like. I don't want it to be too salty, but it's like, it's so good. Where's my, where's my, where's my chopstick? There it is. All right, so I'm gonna have a few bites and then we can start chatting. Mm -hmm. Okay, do I wanna keep this going? Okay, if I can grab the udon, geez. Do I know how to use chopsticks? I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. I love udon. Woo. All right, so we got some tofu. Rice, yum. I am going to add just a little bit more kimchi juice. You know what? Ah! <laughs> Let's just add it all in. Might as well. Ah. Ooh, look at that. Okay, I'm just gonna turn this off. Because it's a bit too hot, you guys. Okay, baby bok choy. Let me just put these in here. Ooh, puffy tofu. Look out, like, see, this thing, like, soaks up the tofu. This I find, I found in the, just the regular tofu section, but I think you should be able to find that in, like, a Chinese supermarket. It's so good. It's so great for hot pot. I think it's, like, made for hot pot. Uh, mushroom. Whew. All right. So I'm going to let that kind of like, you know, calm down because I think I already burnt my mouth. Great. Mm. So this video <laughs> is going to piss me off. Okay. It might piss off a lot of people. Korean people. Look, I'm Korean and it is concerning. I'm not hating on Korea, obviously. Okay. I love Korea. I'm proud to be Korean, all that stuff. Um, although it is a weird concept to be proud of like, I don't know, your country, like your, your race or your nationality, cause like, I don't know, it's not something you did, you were just born, like I was just born Korean, I, I didn't do anything to be Korean. 
You know what I'm saying? What I'm saying is I'm not hating on Korea at all. I'm just concerned about this type of negative, you know, body image issues which are extreme in Korea. Okay? Let's play this. 안녕하세요. 아시안 보스의 재민입니다. 다이어트가 최고의 성형 수술이라고 말할 정도로 한국에서는 많은 여성분들이 체중 조절과 외모 가꾸기에 많은 시간과 돈을 투자를 하고 있습니다. 그렇다면 Okay, so first off, problem number 1. Dieting is the best plastic surgery. Okay. How about just being healthy? <laughs> You know, most of these people are not even fat at all. Okay, if you go to Korea, like, I mean, I haven't been there for a long time, so maybe things have changed, but most of the girls that are like, I want to lose weight are like, usually very skinny, okay? Or just like at least average and or healthy looking or, you know, so it's just kind of like, like, why, why, why do you need to diet? You know, why don't we just say like being healthy, having a healthy weight is, you know, the best way to look good or something, you know? But what I found is that no one, like very rarely, are people just happy with like their weight. Everyone's just like, I need to lose more weight. I need to lose more weight. I'm like, but where? How? Hmm. Okay. I want to succeed in like having a healthy body. It's like, I want to succeed in my diet. What? When they say diet, they mean like, you know, going on an actual diet, not just like, oh, I want to be healthy. It's like, I want to be successful in my diet, as in, I want to lose weight by going on a diet. So backwards. <laughs> 아, 네, 있어요. 해야죠, 다이어트를. 아, 네, 저도. 지금도 다이어트를 계획을 하고 있으신지. <웃음> 저희 사실 여기 방금 걸어오면서 네. 다이어트 얘기하고 있었거든요. <웃음> 얼마 전에 1.5kg가 쪄가지고 그걸 이제 다시 빼고 거기서 추가로 4kg 더 빼는 게 올해 <웃음> 새해 목. She wants to lose 4 kilograms. She's a tiny little human. Oh. That is a crazy amount of weight for someone that does not need to lose weight, you know? That is incredibly un unhealthy, in my opinion. It really is shocking. The standard of what is considered to be you know, an attractive weight is so low, which we'll get to in a little bit. But like that girl, you can see that she's not at all even chubby, at least as far as we can see. Let's one of the, have these one of these puffs. More soup. Mm. 
is so good. And another thing that I think is a problem is in Korea, I know this isn't just in Korea, but I think especially in Korea, people are so obsessed with the number on the scale. That is like the most important thing. As you can see, like everyone's gonna talk about specific numbers that they want to achieve. Which, if you know anything about body weight and fat loss and weight loss, anything at all, the most basic thing is that your weight does not tell you the whole story. Like a lot of people put so much of an emphasis on that number on the scale. And it tells you only a fraction of the story. There should be so many other factors into consideration when discussing somebody's, you know, overall body composition. But people are so fixated on that number on the scale. Let's keep going. <laughs> 1.5kg나 이런 변동이 확실히 크게 다가오나요? 네, 아침에 일어날 때 거의 몸무게를 습관적으로 좀 재니까 그때 좀 재고 있으면 아, 쪘구나, 빠졌구나 이렇게 해서 하루하루 좀 느낌이 좀 달라진다 해야 되나? 혹시 본인은 살이 쪘다고 생각을 하시나요? 그럼요. 그럼요. 왜, 왜, 어디가 아. 오케이. 너 키고 있. 살 전혀 안쪄 보이시는데? 아니에요. 자, 여기. <웃음> <웃음> 왜요? 왜 이렇게 어... 웃으세요? 여기, 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 여기. 그 다음에 배꼽, 배꼽 주변에 그냥 팔뚝이랑 막. Oh my god. 꼬리... The... Oh god. That's the thing, you know. I get it though. I understand that, you know, you don't have to be like overweight to necessarily want to like, you know, lose a little bit of fat on your body. Because, you know, I have the same, I have the same sentiments. You know, people might think I don't need to lose weight, but I do have like excess fat on my stomach and all that stuff. That being said, For her to say that she thinks she's fat is a different story, you know? I feel like all Korean girls think they're fat. <laughs> no matter how not bad they are, they all think they're fat. Now, I'm not sure how this is in other Asian countries, but it's a serious problem in Korea. And I get concerned because I've seen videos of girls that have lost weight that are talking about how they lost weight. And most of the time, it's like really unhealthy ways, like really, really reducing their calories too low and just like having very restrictive eating habits. Get this boiling again. Mm -hmm. I could eat this like every day. It's so good. All right, let's keep going. Oh, another thing to mention is that I do actually think that these girls probably do have like excess fat on their body. I do believe them when they're like, oh, like I have some, you know, fat on my stomach. But it's not, then that's not really a weight issue, in my opinion. That's not an issue of like, oh, I need to lose the weight on the scale. That's an issue of like, maybe you need to, you know, gain some muscle, <laughs> um, do some exercise. Because a lot of these girls, they don't wanna exercise or they don't exercise or they don't have time to exercise. In Korea, when you're a teenager, you study a lot. So everyone's just sitting around, not moving. So that's not good. So when you're a teenager, you know, they don't develop these habits of like exercising or like, you know, why can't I grab udon noodles? <laughs> yeah, so I feel like, you know, a lot of times they just don't develop, they don't have a chance to like go out and exercise, go out and do stuff. I think lifting weights for women is like still not really common. Mm. You know, I think in the Western world, we've now kind of really embraced the idea of women lifting weights and getting stronger. But in Korea, that kind of thing is still kind of not really done often. Mm. I'm gonna turn this off again, it's getting hot. <laughs> so because of that, a lot of these people are like skinny fat. So they don't really have much muscle. They just sit around and they get skinny fat. But then 
starving yourself is not going to be the answer, in my opinion. No? Yes. 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 You know how much I weigh, guys? <laughs> I weigh over 130 pounds. I think I weigh around or a little over 130 pounds. These people are saying, let me just watch that part again. <laughs> so she is taller, 167 centimeters, which is five foot six, apparently, and she wants to weigh below 50 kilograms. <laughs> I am around five foot, I would say I'm barely five foot three. So I'm probably like 160, maybe a little bit less or a little bit more. So I'm shorter than this girl, okay? And I weigh around 59, 60 kilograms, around 130 pounds. So I must be morbidly obese. Huh? I can't even imagine weighing less than 50 kilograms. You would have to have no muscle in your body. None. No fat, no muscle, just like skin and bone. Oh my god. This is the thing. There is no formula to have an ideal weight. There is no like, I mean, not this kind of formula. She said, what's the ideal way how to like measure it? So you take your height in centimeters and you subtract 115 from your height in centimeters. So let's say I was 160 in centimeters, which I am approximately. I take that and I subtract 115. That's 45 kilograms. That's about 100 pounds. <laughs> um, what? That is absolutely crazy. That means I would be 30 pounds lighter. I would be 30 pounds lighter. That is so unhealthy, you know? Don't get me wrong. Not for everyone is going to be unhealthy. I know there are people that are underweight that are healthy. But for my body, I would have zero muscle, like literally zero muscle and no fat. I'd be so skinny. I wouldn't be able to eat anything. <laughs> like what? It's just so sad that people have this idea of beauty that's so skewed. Some people might think like, oh, maybe it's because like Korean people are like 
have smaller bone structure or something. And like it is true probably that a part of why like we weigh less is because we have like smaller bone structure as Asians or like as Koreans. But I'm also Korean. And I weigh 30 pounds more than this girl's ideal weight. <laughs> 30 pounds more so I have Korean bone structure Korean body but no there's no way I would want to be that low of weight Oh my gosh, so good. Let's keep going. This is kind of painful. <laughs> She's in ballet, that's the problem. Oh my god. Here's the thing. This is how Korean people think. At least like that's what I remember. This is why when I was younger, I haven't been to Korea in a long time, but when I was younger, I loved going to Korea because it's so fun. There's so many aspects I love about it. Food, there's lots to do. It's a fun country. It's very, very unique in terms of culture. So I really love that. But one of the reasons I dreaded going to Korea in some aspects is because I want, I didn't want to be judged by my weight. And you will be judged by your weight if you're in Korea. Mm -hmm. So I always dreaded going to Korea for that reason. This idea that a woman needs to fall into some ca category of below 50 kilograms. Absolutely crazy. Mm. <laughs> Mm -hmm. That was the most reasonable thing I heard in this interview so far. And you don't want to. Diet is not good. Oh, this is so crazy. I can't imagine not eating. I can't imagine eating one meal a day to lose weight. That is such an unhealthy cycle. Oh, you binge and then what? You, you don't eat for a few days? Like... You know, if people said that in North America, that is a full-on eating disorder, you know? These people go on these crazy diets. Which, yeah, you're gonna lose weight at first, the first time you diet. And then, you're gonna gain it right back, okay? Or develop an eating disorder. <laughs> Is that the life you wanna live? But I'm being critical of these people, but it's, it's more so the society. I understand why these people think like this because the society makes them like this. It's a vicious cycle.
people feel so much pressure to be skinny, to look skinny, and a lot of them, you know, maybe they don't have enough information about how it slows down your metabolism. Like when you starve, like you're gonna slow your metabolism down. That's why you keep yo-yo dieting. Ah, why is this not public information? I thought this was public, public knowledge by now, that when you diet and go on these extreme diets, you are slowing down your body. You're slowing down your metabolism. Not to mention just how bad that is for you to be, you know, eating one meal a day or just not eating enough. You know, maybe they're okay now because they're like in their 20s and they're young, but that kind of stuff like, you know, being malnourished, all that stuff will catch up to you when you're older. And then you're gonna have all these problems, all these health problems as a result of all of these crazy diets. <sighs> 돈 엄청 많이 들었어요. <웃음> 복싱이나 뭐 음. 수영? 수영이랑. Okay, at least they're working out. <웃음> But like, if you're not eating and working out, that's also a problem. 수영은 어깨가 넓어진다고 <웃음> 많이 안 하고 그리고 그냥 헬스 다니면서 하고 필라테스 이런 거. 어 일단은 그냥 생으로 굽는 거랑 그다음에. 사과 다이어트는 뭐 다들 많이 했을 거고요. 3일 동안 이제 하루에 사, 그 사과만 먹는 거. 그거랑 또 뭐가 해독, 해독 주스? 그럼 마녀 주스? 뭐 이런 해독 주스 다이어트도 해봤고. 또막 한약도 먹어봤고요. 또 별별 걸 다이어트 해봤는데 oh 또 뭐가 있지? 너무, 너무 많은 생각이 안 나요. Why not just eat healthy and just do a little exercise, you know? It's glorified to lose like a lot of weight. They think it's like success. 하루에 사과 한개 먹기 뭐 이런 식으로 했어 하고 있어요. 그 안그래도 이제 인터뷰 하시는 분들 중에서 사과에 Why even eat an apple? Like what is the point? Just why not just not eat <laughs> in that situation? Look, I don't want to laugh at this because It is a serious issue, but it's so frustrating. Like, but people are just like opening, openly starving themselves. One apple a day. One apple a day. Why eat? Why eat the one apple? Is that to prevent you from dying? 사과에 관한 이야기를 많이 하시더라고요. 음. 사과가 어떤 게왜다 사과를 그렇게 찾으시는? 음 몸에 좋아서 <웃음> 왜냐하면 어, 해독 작용이 있다고 들었고 그리고 이런 대변 활동에도 좋고 그런 것 같아요. 그리고 듣는 게좀 효과는 제일 빠르지 않나? 뭔가 급하게 좀만 다이어트 하고 싶다면 굶어. 나 No! Yes, you're gonna lose weight fast if you starve. Okay, but you're also going to be slowing, slowing down your metabolism. And then you're gonna gain it right back. Why is this not public information? Oh. I ate it all because I'm pissed. All this diet talk made me want to pig out. Oh, this makes me so mad. 어, 기본적으로 아침에 바나나만 먹고 삼시세끼는 먹는 바나나 다이어트라 될지 아니면 정말 약을 먹고 뺏는 경우도 있고요. 아니면 진짜 안 먹는 그런 다이어트도 있, 있었던 것 같아요. 근데 그런 극단적인 다이어트를 하면 이제 몸에 문제가 생기는 경우들이 있지 않나요? 그쵸 아무래도 근데 살이 많이 찐 사람의 경우에는 극단적으로 한번 그렇게 빼고 유지를 하는 게더 쉬운 다이어트라고들 말씀을 하시더라고요. Oh my god, that's so much misinformation. Ah, look, I'm not a dietitian. 
I'm not a nutritionist. I am not a weight loss expert. Um, which, by the way, I'm gonna have a little dessert. This is a little Ritter Sport dark chocolate. Vegan, yes, I know. Um, let me just put this down. Hi. Oh, hello. I'm not <laughs> an expert, but I will tell you, <laughs> I'll tell you that starving yourself is the last thing that you probably wanna do if you want to maintain a lower body weight. So she say, oh my God, this is a, this is a problem with Oh god, this just is so triggering. I'm sorry if this is triggering, but like, okay, here's the thing. I don't know why in Korea this kind of information is not widespread, but, or maybe it's not just Korea. Like, I keep talking about Korea, but like, it's not just Korea, but I do think in Korea it is extremely widespread, this misinformation that like, if you starve, you'll lose weight. That's how you, you know, that's how you lose weight. And then all you have to do is just like maintain that weight and then you'll be good to go. The problem is that it is not so easy to maintain that weight. Why is this not public information? When you starve yourself and you lose weight, your body is like, is it is freaking out. It's like, okay, how do I, what do I do in order for me to survive this like starvation? So it is going to slow down your metabolism. So then later when you start eating even normal amounts, you are not going to maintain that weight. You are going to gain weight and then some. <sighs> I've never starved myself. The worst I've done is eat 1200 cal. Oh, my hair, I'm sorry, my hair. I don't like my hair right now. The worst thing that I've done, I've never starved myself, okay? Because I've never, even when I was like a teenager, I always just knew that it wasn't what I wanted to do. I always thought like, what's the point? Because you're just gonna gain the weight back. It just seems like, it just seems like very common sense kind of thing. Like, you know, you starve yourself and then yeah, you're, you're gonna lose the weight. But when you eat again, like, Inevitably, you're gonna gain the weight back uh, Unless you I don't know get a like a full-on eating disorder or something, but So yeah, I never actually starved myself But the worst I've done is eat like 1200 calories a day and even then even that to me would be like starving myself That would be like the closest thing that I would have gotten to starving myself and even then like yeah I eventually gained it back Okay, your mindset goes to, oh yeah, I can maintain it. I can just maintain it But it's so much more complicated than that. Like it's not that easy to just maintain the weight, you know? It's so painful to watch. 요즘에 뭐 페이스북이나 아니면은 SNS 광고를 통해서 뭐 다이어트 식품이라던가 다이어트 약 같은 게 많이 나오잖아요. 혹시 그 다이어트 약을 섭취하는 거에 대해서 혹시 어떻게 생각하세요? 그거는 저는 좋게는 생각 안 하는 것 같아요. 그런 거는 이렇게 인공적으로 이렇게 살을 이렇게 심하게 빼는 거니까 그런 거는 건강에도 안 좋을 것 같고 네 그럴 바에는 <웃음> 그냥 건강하게 사는 게 <웃음> 아, 저 Thank you. 사실 운동 너무 하기 싫은데 막 페이스북 보다가 막 그것만 먹었는데 한달 만에 4kg가 빠진 거예요 근데 딱 4kg 빼면 제가 원하는 몸무이기 때문에 되게 솔깃했거든요 아, Okay, I need to stop watching this <웃음> This is concerning. It really is. It really is concerning. And I've seen so many videos on YouTube of like Korean diets and people talking about Korean celebrity diets and I tried this diet and this diet and they're basically just all starving themselves. I don't know why they just like like to package it in like so many different ways. Oh, the apple diet, the banana diet. Essentially, you're just eating low calories. Very, 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 very low calories. There's this one girl, there was this one like celebrity diet. I think breakfast was like an apple and then lunch was like a sweet potato or something and the dinner was like an egg or something like that or like a protein shake or something and everyone's like oh yeah i'm following this like specific diet i'm like why do you have to have these rules you're basically just eating nothing so that that's why you're losing weight you're not losing weight because you're eating specific foods you're losing weight because you're not eating food huh? <sighs> anyway <sighs> It's painful. It really is. And again, even if you don't end up gaining the weight back, you will probably develop problems in the future if you are constantly going from one diet to the next and basically starving yourself for extended periods of time. You're gonna get problems in the future, health problems, like severe health problems, you know? And you gotta exercise, hmm? 
This is so good. I'm gonna eat one more. I like to usually eat like one after dinner, one of these chocolates. But today, I'm mad, okay? I wanna eat all the calories because no one else is eating it in Korea, apparently. Hmm. What was I saying? Oh, yeah, this whole like non exercise thing. This is like another pet peeve of mine when people are like, how to lose weight without exercise. I'm like, that's not something I would like to be promoting, this idea of no exercise. We are supposed to be exercising. It doesn't have to be vigorous exercise. It doesn't have to be high intensity training. It doesn't have to be, it doesn't even have to be like super heavy lifting, but just like walking or doing some sort of physical activity that is necessary for human health. So why are we promoting anything that's, that's below that? That's, that's promoting the lack of exercise. Lack of exercise or being sedentary is a very, very big health risk. That was a random mukbang. Mm -hmm. a little rant. So yeah, that's why I'm morbidly obese in Korea. <laughs> Just kidding, I'm not. I'm not morbidly obese, but I would definitely be considered like, you know, maybe even overweight. I don't know. Every girl wants to be like half my size. That's essentially what it is. Mm. But you know, I get why people in Korea have this mindset because when you are in that society, you start to think that way. I remember even when I was younger, I had no, I had no interest in getting any sort of plastic surgery ever, but then I would go to Korea and all of a sudden I'm like slightly tempted. I'm like, everyone around me has plastic surgery. Everyone talks about it like it's no big deal. And it seems to be just the way of life there. So then you just kind of get sucked into that, that society and that environment. And all of a sudden you find yourself, you know, starving yourself wanting to fix my nose. So yeah, Korean beauty standards should probably change <laughs> to not be so crazy. And even like being tanned is like, no, people gotta be like very fair, very like white. Uh, yeah, and very, very skinny apparently. Have absolutely no muscle. Okay. Yeah, I don't know why I decided to react to that video. I think I was just kind of like triggered and I wanted to rant. <laughs> I just want to put a little public service announcement and let you know that starving yourself is not the answer, my friends. Starving is never the answer. Please eat, okay? Eating is good. Food is fuel. Food is for your body. It is fuel, it is important, and you do not need to starve yourself to be happy or look good, ever, okay? It's quite the opposite, okay? If you starve yourself, you'll probably be unhappy and probably not look good. And also, to the young people out there, <laughs> If you are in your 20s and you think you're invincible and you think whatever things that you're doing, whatever crazy diets you're going on are not going to impact you in the future, well, you might want to think again because you are really doing huge damage to your body if you are starving yourself or engaging in these really, really dangerous behaviors and later on it is going to most likely catch up to you and that is not that is not something that you want to deal with when you're older because when you're older, the thing is, here's another thing. I'm, I'm sorry, I keep talking. Uh, here's another thing though, you know when you're young like of course like you know I care about beauty Okay, I'm not gonna lie and say that I'm not vain because I am okay I am vain and I do want to look good and all of that good stuff But at the end of the day, you know beauty fades beauty will always fade no matter what Okay, you will always the beauty will always fade unfortunately That's just the reality beauty fades so even though yeah, you can focus on your beauty a little bit But it's not the end-all be-all at the end of the day. I want to be you know walking around, I want to be able to do things, do activities, have fun in my life when I'm older. At least that's that's me, that's just me, maybe that's just me. I don't want to have major health problems or be bedridden or just have to deal with the consequences when I'm older because I wanted to be skinny when I was younger. Even if I was super gorgeous right now, in 40 years, that's gonna be different, okay? Gonna look different than this in 40 years, okay? So. Just putting that out there, okay? It's not the end-all be-all. You're probably gonna worry about other things when you get older. And when you're older, you're gonna be like, why was I so stupid and not taking care of my health when I was younger? Anyways, that was my little rant. Hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I'm so full now. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna lay on the couch for a little bit. And then I'm gonna go exercise because balance, okay? Thank you to Asian Boss for shining a light on this topic. Um, I know they're not promoting this kind of message. They're just simply going out and asking for people's opinions and people's, you know, 
thoughts and I do hope that in South Korea the opinions change a little bit and they start accepting different body shapes and different body types and they start accepting the fact that being stick thin is not something that everyone should aspire to be. I also hope that the girls in Korea start start lifting some weights because that's one way to you know keep that fat down low. This is why oh God, I keep talking. This is why um, the focus on you know just your body weight is really just not you know that's not something that I like to do anymore. It's something that I obsess over less and less each day because I realize it is just not that important. The body weight I could weigh the same amount and look very very different depending on my you know levels of exercise and how much weight training I'm doing and so on and so forth. So the number on the scale is only very 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 small fraction of the of the equation. So I hope people start to realize that in South Korea as well. That's it guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you guys want to check out my other mukbang videos, the link will be down below to my playlist. And if you guys like these kind of societal chats and stuff like that, let me know down below. I also have a podcast with my friend Daniel where we discuss societal issues. So so yeah, if you guys want to listen to that, I'll link that down below as well. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Uh, give this video a big thumbs up, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye! This me. This is me, okay? I know. I got, I got a little little pooch, little pooch, okay? A little, little extra fat, but like, imagine me weighing 30 pounds less. 30 pounds less. That's apparently the ideal. 30 pounds. Can you imagine? I would just be a stick figure. A stick figure. Nothing else. Nothing else. <sighs> Anyways. Bye guys. <laughs>